and welcome to today's webinar. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. I am Joanne and I will be guiding everyone through today's webinar. I have two experts with me um, that will answer all of my questions um, on getting started um, with shipping. And um, Malcolm, why don't you introduce yourself first? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so my name is Malcolm. I'm on the uh, sales side of things with Sergio. Um, I've been at Shippo for a few years now, and I've been in the e-commerce uh, space uh, my entire career. Uh, so before I was at Shippo, I was at Walmart e-commerce, and I previously worked for some uh, other online brands. And actually, too, on the side, I have my own uh, small e-commerce business. And so I've actually used this product uh, just like hopefully all of you have or, or shortly will be doing. Uh, so I've been there. Um, so hopefully I can walk you through with some of my uh, my knowledge from my personal experience and just from the Shippo side of things. So really excited to help out. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. And Sergio, handing out off to you. Everybody, happy Friday. I'm excited for everybody joining today. So my name's Sergio. I'm on the sales team here at Shippo with Malcolm and a few others. Um, this is actually my first role in e-commerce, so I don't exactly have background in e-commerce. I definitely come from the tech space where I've worked with a similar platform to really make everyone's lives easier. So yeah, I'm just really excited to talk about Shippo and hopefully uh, make everyone's lives easier today. Awesome. I am looking forward to having you both on and sharing your expertise with everyone um, online right now. Uh, so before we get started, wanted to just give a quick background on what exactly Shippo does. And um, Malcolm, why don't you tell us or just give us your quick sales pitch here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, as you can see on the slide, short answer, what do we do shipping? But that's probably not all of what we do. It certainly isn't what all we do. Um, you know, I think there's a ton that we can talk about and we're actually going to dive a little bit deeper today into some of the specifics. But if we had to break it down, it'd probably be four key things. And that's how we easily connect with your store. So no matter what e-commerce platform you're on, as long as it's a major e-commerce platform, we're going to be able to connect with it seamlessly and just about instantly. Uh, we give you the ability to print discounted shipping labels. So we offer access to all of the major carriers, awesome regional carriers, international carriers, and we offer discounted labels as well. We also give you the ability to track your orders. So that means you can track your orders from your side of things and then also easily transmit that tracking information to your customers automatically as well. And then if you so need it, we help you manage and automate returns. So making that process as cheap as possible and also as simple as possible for you and your customers. Awesome, thanks Malcolm. Um, so why did we start Shippo Service Hours? What we saw in the space as uh, COVID happened was that a ton of new customers were coming online and everyone had questions on how to really get started in the e-commerce space and how they get their products out to their customers now that customers weren't coming in store. And so that's really what we're gonna walk you through. We're gonna walk you through each of the steps before you actually start shipping. Some decisions you have to make um, before you actually, you know, get your product out to the customer. And um, it's a it's a trend that we saw when we were when we were uh, seeing the kind of growth in e-commerce on our side. So we wanted to provide some guidance um, around that. And one of the very first questions that I had as I was learning the space was all around packaging. How do you choose um, what decisions you have to make? And you know, what do you have to think about when you are choosing packaging? And for that, I'm gonna go to Sergio who will help us answer that question. Thanks Joe. So yeah, this is uh, probably one of the first questions you're gonna be asking yourself once you've uh, created a product or maybe it's your business and you've decided on your business model and you decided I'm gonna be shipping things out to people. So how do I choose my packaging? This is super important. So some of the things that you wanna think about here beforehand is just, you know, what is it that you're shipping? Um, you know, are these things fragile? Or do these things need to travel a, a short distance? Are they able to be in transit for more than two or three days? These are some of the things that you need to think about. Um, and when you think about these things, you can determine maybe a box might work, maybe a poly mailer might work. 
Um, maybe I need to uh, add some sort of like special protection. You really want to think about these things. And the real reason why is because, you know, your bottom line, your money, you want to make sure that that's right. You want to make sure that you're not wasting money at this point, um, especially for those you know, many, many businesses that are starting out with Shippo. It's not good to jump into a business by spending a lot of money on your shipping. You want to minimize that. So a normal rule of thumb here is you want to take the least amount of space and you want to send something out that weighs the least. So if you have the ability to send your items out in packaging, that's either small, slim, maybe it's a poly mailer, maybe you don't require a box. It's always good to go that route. Um, if you need to be consistent and you need to, you know, add some type of pizzazz to your, to your items, you need it to go out in boxes, you need customization, that's totally fine, but you do have to keep that in mind that boxes typically are going to be more expensive than poly mailers because they're a little bit, they're typically going to be a little bit bigger and they're working away a little bit more. Um, and then also you want to determine, you know, where are you in your business? You know, are you a, a full-blown business? Do you need custom packaging? Do you have the ability to use flat rates? Um, if you have the ability to send things out in USPS branded packaging, that's when you can use flat rates. Um, some companies really, really, really need customization. So they're going to kind of going to be out of those USPS branded boxes. Uh, because if you do use USP, USPS branded boxes, you do need to go flat rate. If you want to go flat rate, you do need to use their branded boxes. So if you have the ability to do that, I highly recommend that. We're going to get more into uh, the flat rates and how that works a little bit later. But again, just going back and, and circling back here is uh, you're going to want to determine what it is that you're shipping and what are the requirements. Um, highly recommend if you're sending anything fragile, you're going to want to go with the box. There are certain things that can go in a poly mailer, but um, I would say it's safe. Anything apparel. So if you're sending, you know, hats, shirts, pants, things of that nature, they can always go out in poly mailers. You don't have to have too much protection, but fragile items, maybe custom items that you make, uh, things that are 3D printed, maybe it's best to go with the box. That way you can um, avoid any, any breaking or any damage. Um, and always, always make sure when you're buying packages, even if you're not incredibly high volume, it's always good to buy packages in bulk because you're going to be saving a lot of money instead of, uh, you know, buying one by one through Uline. Maybe you can even do Amazon. Those are some, some good recommendations. Awesome. Thanks, Sergio. And you touched on it a little bit um, already, and I'm going to come right back to you, but guide us through how to minimize those costs. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of things that go into play here, especially with Shippo, just shipping in general. You know, how do I minimize costs? Of course, we have a ton of offerings, but how are you going to determine which offerings are best to take? So the good thing here with Shippo is that we're doing a little bit of the work for you. Um, by the, and by that, I mean that we are integrating several different carriers, USPS, UPS, um, if you're shipping international, DHL, but we're integrating these carriers all at the same time. That way you can make the right decision on the fly. So what Shippo really does for you to minimize costs is that we have several offerings. There's going to be times when one of the carriers may be a clear winner, but then you send another package a little bit later and the opposite carrier will be the clear winner. So what we really do is the work for you. There's no cross-referencing. We're going to give you the cheapest rate out of all of our carriers and you can make the decision. And also maybe it might not be the cheapest rate. Maybe you need the quickest rate. Uh, maybe your customer has paid for that expedited service. We're going to give you those options front and center. So you are making um, the right decisions. And then also some of the other things is you really need to think about what it is that I'm sending. If you have items that are perishable or they need to, um, you know, they need to go some more priority. They can't, they can't be in transit for a long time. You want to really take advantage of some of our flat rates. And if they're traveling very far, it may be good to ship flat rate. But one of the big confusions about flat rate is that because it's a flat rate, it may always seem attractive. It always seems to send flat rate, but that's not always the case. You really, again, want to determine how heavy are my items? How far are they traveling? Um, you know, without doing too much research and crunching the numbers, if you are sending something that's small and heavy, um, that's probably going to be a, a, you know, a, a good idea to use flat rate, especially if it's going far. Um, but if you're sending something that's very, very close, maybe it's within the same zone, there may be a circumstance where you're spending a lot of money on those flat rates. So you want, you're going to want to avoid that. But Offering flat rates and offering standard shipments is really the way to go. That way you can pinpoint and dial in your shipping costs. And please, please, please 
don't get discouraged um, because it does take some time to dial in shipping. It does take a lot of time to pinpoint that pricing, match it up with Shippo and provide the best rates to your customers. So over time, you'll figure out what works for you. But on day one, um, it is going to be it is going to be a little bit rocky, but you know, you'll really get there. So figuring out what works in terms of flat rate is, is really going to help you. It's going to assist. Awesome. Thanks, Sergio. And, you know, now that we are in these times, it's um, a lot easier to kind of ask for someone to come pick things up rather than having to go to the post office to drop things off. Uh, for this, Malcolm, can you guide us around, you know, once you have your package and you're ready to send it out, what can you do to take advantage of pickups? Yeah, absolutely. I know this is probably top of mind for a lot of folks. Hey, look, don't feel super comfortable maybe going to visit a bunch of different places if I don't need to, or maybe you just don't feel like changing into real clothes for the day. Don't feel like going to the post office, want to have them come to you. Um, whatever the case is, nobody's going to judge, but we do have some really awesome options. Um, so right in your shipments tab, you have the ability to schedule a carrier pickup. Uh, so you can schedule that with USPS and uh, DHL Express. If you want to schedule a carrier pickup for a different carrier, you absolutely can do so. You'll just do that outside of the Shippo platform. So you'll need to address that, for instance, with UPS or FedEx, specifically with that carrier. But in the instance of the USPS, you can do that right in your shipments tab, and you can see that button that is for scheduling a carrier pickup right there on the screen. Uh, and then so right next to that, you'll actually see a button for creating a manifest. So what is that? It's actually super important. So business is booming, things are really going well, and you have a ton of packages that you need to ship out all at once. So in that case, you may need to create a manifest or a scan form. So a manifest or a scan form is simply a log of all of the shipments that you're indicating you are either picking, you have for pickup or you're dropping off at the post office. And that associates one single barcode with all of those tracking numbers. So instead of the carrier having to individually scan each package, they simply scan that barcode and it logs all of them as being picked up. Um, so that's really important, obviously, as you can imagine, if you had a hundred packages, it would take so long for a carrier to do that. So there's no universal rule for when this is required. It's a little bit discretionary for the carriers like locally, um, but it's a good rule of thumb. If you have maybe more than a handful of packages, just go ahead and simply print this off. Ship will automatically prepares it for you. You just click and print. Uh, additionally too, it's important to note that when you are scheduling any carrier pickups, you wanna make sure you give yourself about 24 hours leeway. If you have something that needs to go out immediately or it's a specialized overnight or expedited service, it might be best to drop that off at the post office directly, but otherwise assume 24 hours from the time that you're scheduling your pickup for when they can actually come take the packages away. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. Um, manifests are super important for lots of packages going out. What's uh, another thing that is super important is insurance, uh, making sure, you know, you have protected your product as it travels to its destination. Uh, Malcolm, can you walk us through that as well? Yeah, of course. So even as Sergio touched on before, uh, just getting the packages out are one thing, but making sure that they're going to get there safely and arrive just as you want them to is important as well. But sometimes no matter what you do, you have the best packaging in the world, you've selected great service levels with carriers and something goes wrong. It either gets lost in transit or it's damaged. These things can and will potentially happen. Uh, so the good news is that most carriers and service levels have some basic level of insurance included. And you can see up here in the screen, we show some of those as an example. In our help center, you can find all of that information about the uh, built-in insurance levels, but that's only about 50 or $100 in most circumstances. So what happens if you need to add additional insurance? The great news is it's really simple and it's easy with Shippo. It's just 1.25% or 1% of the declared item value based on which Shippo plan you're on. With the Paygo plan, it's 1.25%. And with our pro or premium plans, it's 1% of the declared value. So really simple. You're insuring something for $1,000, that would be just $10 for that insurance. Awesome, thanks Malcolm. 
sorry, I'm just suffering through some allergies here. Um, and now they both mentioned multiple carriers throughout the conversation already. And um, that's something that is pretty advantageous uh, with Shippo, being able to see all of these. Uh, Sergio, can you talk us through how to take advantage of seeing multiple carriers in one place? Yes, yeah, so this is this is one of our core features here. Um, this is essentially our bread and butter, um, you know, optimizing, utilizing several different carriers. So you really want to leverage a platform like Shippo in this circumstance. So what we've really done here is we've done the work for you, uh, work that would other otherwise require maybe high volume or several years several years to establish. We've done this work for you. When you sign into Shippo today, you're gonna get all these carriers automatically activated. USPS, UPS, DHL. There's nothing you need to do on your end. You don't need to sign up for an account. You don't need to sign an agreement. We're gonna give you this right out of the box. And you wanna take advantage of this. There's several reasons why. Um, a lot of people like to you know, maybe determine a pricing on a certain package with USPS and figure, hey, I, it's a lot cheaper than UPS. I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, dedicate all of my volume to USPS, which is great. And it will apply for a lot of things that fit in your business model, but there's gonna be a lot of times when UPS can be a clear winner. So with us, you really wanna make sure that you have these accounts activated, which will be on by default and really always keep it that way because when we bring everything in house. You don't have to have a separate flow. You don't have to have a separate platform for the other carriers. Everything's gonna exist inside of Shippo. And if there's a better option for you or whatever that better option is, we're gonna present it to you. And you wanna make sure you have these options available because there's been countless times where I've seen a USPS rate that might be X amount of money and take five or seven days in transit. And it may only be 10 cents more or something like that to go with UPS and have an expedited option, a two day option. So it's really important to have these things available because you have to keep your customers in mind. And if timing is an issue, we're going to provide resources and carriers to be able to present those options there. So, and again, going back to really you as a starter, you as a company, you're new, we're giving you these heavily discounted rates right out of the gate. And a very, very important thing is that we're not asking for certain volume to certain carriers. When you go out independently to a carrier and you say, hey, UPS, I want discounted rates. They're gonna to wanna to see some volume dedicated to them. With us, because we've negotiated these rates, you can split your volume. You can use USPS as much as you'd like. You can use UPS as much as you like. Your discounts aren't gonna vary and you're always gonna be entitled to the best offerings all the time. So, and another thing, I don't think I touched on this uh, with minimizing cost too much, but the reason why you wanna have them active is because they're gonna go head to head um, typically for some of the smaller items, usually under about 10 pounds, those items are usually going to be cheaper with USPS. But once you start getting 10, 11, 12, 13 pounds and up, that's when you'll start to see it swap and you'll start to see USPS becoming very, very expensive. And that's when UPS is going to be a better option, either because they're cheaper or they're going to be much quicker. So we're going to give you those options front and center. You don't have to run simultaneous quotes and we'll let you make the decision based on what you need or your customer needs. So really the, the short answer here of how to optimize, how to optimize is by joining a company like Shippo because we're doing all the optimization for you. And on day one, you're gonna be in a better place. Awesome, thanks Sergio. Um, now that you have an understanding of the package you wanna use, the carriers are gonna use, you've insured your, um, your packages when they're going out, there is always this thing where I love getting a notification right when I order um, a package. Um, that it's on its way. Um, and we could do that in Shippo as well. It's a, it's a nice little touch for your customers and Malcolm's gonna talk us through it. Yeah, thanks Joe. So I, I'm sure the same way. Uh, as soon as I order something, the first thing I'm doing is checking when's it gonna arrive, where's the tracking, what's going on, right? So I'm sure your customers probably aren't too different. We've been conditioned to think this way. Uh, so the good news is that you can create that type of experience for your customer where they get the information about their shipment, the tracking information, when it's going to arrive as soon as you ship it out. Uh, so the good news is that process is, can be totally automated within Shippo. 
So you can send out automated tracking notification emails directly to the email that's associated with your customer's order. Uh, so you can send that, that sends out automatically within Shippo if you elect to use it um, as soon as the package goes out. And then also too, we send out an automated delivery confirmation email. So really, really helpful if your customer is out and about, they get that email notification, hey, there's a package sitting for them on their doorstep. The great news is that you can turn this functionality on or off within Shippo. So say you're using a platform like Shopify, they may already have some type of track notification functionality built in, and you might already like that. The good news is you can elect to use it or not within Shippo. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. And then this, the other thing that I love about buying online, and I rarely use it, is that they give you the option now to, you know, manage your returns pretty easily as a customer. Um, and Shippo allows you to handle that as well on our side. Uh, but Malcolm, I'm going to ask you to help us understand how that works as well. Yeah, absolutely. So actually, I want to just add one more thing that I forgot to mention in regards to tracking, and that is you can actually add customization within that tracking too. We do offer the ability to have branded tracking notification landing pages, which is super cool. So you can create an even better experience for your customers with custom uh, design in that track notification landing page. And the great news is too, unlike if you've seen in previous ex or other experiences with different services where you get dumped off to the carrier page uh, on the carrier site, the good news is with Shippo, it's consistent no matter what carrier you're using. So if it's USPS or UPS, they're still seeing the exact same type of branded experience. Uh, cool. So onto the business of handling returns. Uh, this is a, a sticky subject, right? It's tough. If you're a business that has an item that is returnable, it's something that's probably top of mind. It's something that can get expensive. It can be a huge burden on yourself if you're a sole proprietor or if you have a support team, it can take up a ton of their time. So Shippo gives you the ability to automate this process and reduce costs as much as possible. So with Shippo, you really have two simple ways to tackle returns. And the first one is to really automate that process. And that is through scan-based return labels. So what does that mean? A scan-based return label means that you will not be charged the cost of the shipment unless the customer actually elects to send something back. So until that is scanned in and received by the carrier, you will not be charged. The good news is you can automatically generate these with every shipment. So imagine you print these out when you print out your packing slip and your uh, shipping label, you put it in the box or the padded envelope, and then your customer has the ability to go ahead and send that back without having to create some sort of a claim or a ticket or make a request to your support team. If that doesn't suit your business model, we have something uh, a little bit more basic, and that would be to simply create on-demand or one-off return labels right within your orders dashboard. So if the customer indicates that something has gone wrong or you wanna have them reach out to you before they actually initiate a return, you can simply do that and then email them the PDF of the return label. The choice is yours. Any way that works for your business, we have a really great solution that makes it a lot easier here at Chippo. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. So now we've actually walked you through all the steps that you have to take before you start shipping. Everything that you need to think about before you do it. Um, and I'm going to take you all the way back um, to your first initial step before you actually start shipping. And it's, you know, getting all of your orders in line. How do you do that? How do you organize? How do you, you know, start getting your um, orders online so you can start shipping? Uh, Sergio, I'm to come to you for that yeah this one right here is great and this is another you know core value feature here is that we're going to be able to connect to your store um, a lot of the proprietary software from ups you know world ship fedex ship manager things like that um, they don't integrate with your store so we're going to eliminate any of the manual process so um, as far as like copying and pasting that is in the past we're going to be able to connect to your store so we have a ton of integrations we offer a ridiculous amount of integrations to e-commerce platforms. Um, of course, we cover all of the main players in the game, Shopify, Square, um, WooCommerce, Magento, Amazon, eBay, Etsy. I can really go on forever, but we're going to be able to pr provide a direct integration with most of the major e-commerce platforms out there. Um, in the platform itself, 
if you've already signed up for Shippo and you didn't do it in the flow, it's really as easy as just a few steps. You're gonna go into your settings, you're gonna go into your stores, and on the top right, you're gonna see Connect Store. Once you click on that, we're gonna display all of the integrations that we have already built. From there, you can find your integration, find your store, click on it, and then Shippo will actually give you a tutorial. It's gonna walk you through the process as far as how to ship that. I mean, excuse me, how to connect that store. Um, and really depending on the store, it may be a little bit different. For the most part, all of the stores are gonna be similar. It's just gonna ask for credentials, username, login, and maybe permissions to allow access. There may be some different ones that will ask for a little bit more, but the good thing about Shippo is that it's not gonna leave you in the dark and we will provide those instructions to connect that store. So now you're probably asking, wait, I don't, I don't have a store or maybe I actually don't have a store that's listed there. We do have a few options if we don't provide a direct integration. So if we don't provide a direct integration with your store, uh, we offer a few things. You can either upload a CSV file so you can go onto your store, um, export your orders into a CSV, and then you can import that CSV into Shippo, and then you would be able to get your orders um, in display as if you did have a direct integration on the store. And then as far as the flow, the features, the pricing, what you would do with that order, it's the same as if you did have a direct integration. Now, if you don't uh, want to go the CSV route, there is an option to even create manual labels. So again, Shippo, we're not, we're not exactly designed for certain customers. We don't focus on mid-market, we don't focus on enterprise, we don't focus on small businesses. We really have a solution for everybody. So I have a ton of clients myself that do things over the phone or they do things over email. Um, at that point, if you do run a business like that and you wanna do manual orders, you totally can do that in Shippo as well. You can go into Shippo and you can just create your own manual order without any CSV, without any tech integration. So we're gonna offer that as well. And then for some of the more um, robust companies out there, maybe you have a custom solution or maybe you just have such a complex business model that you need much more than what we can offer in the web UI. So what we do offer also is an API. You can also connect to Shippo through our API. So let's say you have something that maybe is supported, but you just need a custom solution, or maybe you just have a full system that is not supported, but you do want integration and you do want automation. We do have Shippo available um, through our API as well. So we do have options. So with all that being said, whether you have a, a basic you know, Shopify store, or maybe you have an enterprise system, we're going to offer a connection for everybody. Awesome. Thanks, Sergio. And at this point, I think we walked through everything, gave you some pretty good starting points on, you know, decisions you have to make before you start shipping and guided you through a couple of the first steps uh, with Shippo. Uh, but before we go offline, I wanted to kick it back to Malcolm for any like tips or tricks or last parting words uh, about Shippo and shipping. Yeah, absolutely. So not so much on the tips and tricks. There really are no magic bullets or secrets to mastering shipping. Um, but the good news is we have so many awesome resources for you that extend beyond this uh, webinar. We have a really awesome way for you to get in contact with us. That's via email. You can also uh, get in contact with us and schedule a call. Uh, we have live chat within the app. And then beyond that, we have really, really awesome resources uh, in our help center. These are really super thoughtful uh, guides on how to do everything within Shippo and give you some more context and information about shipping at large. Uh, additionally, too, we have a, uh, a blog and it's really, really robust, awesome tool for you to get uh, just general industry knowledge and knowledge about everything that's going on in the shipping world and the Shippo world too. So a lot of resources for you. We want to keep this conversation going. We love to interact and help you out. Um, even if it's about something outside of just the platform, helping you figure out how to optimize your shipping experience or your business. Uh, we're happy to do that too. So we want to be the experts that you need. 
Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. Um, yeah, you listed off some pretty great resources there. What I had learned starting out at Shippo was that a lot of the knowledge comes outside of the platform because of just the different things that you have to think about with the, with the carriers, with the stores. And um, luckily, we have some great people and great resources that help beyond just you know, being able to figure out Shippo itself. So reach out to us at support at, or if you log into Shippo, you should see options for chat um, and phone calls live uh, during the weekday. And then, um, yeah, you'll get connected with one of our experts. The blog is on our main website, um, and that is always very in, um, enlightening uh, in terms of what is happening in the shipping and e-commerce world. Thank you again to Sergio and Malcolm for parting their um, knowledge with us um, throughout today's webinar. And I hope everyone has a really great weekend. Bye everybody. Thanks everyone.